what more are you looking for tonight that wasn't there? Yeah, I mean, a transition defense has got to be better. Um, and then we've got to rebound the ball better. I mean, you know, in the middle of all that, we feel good about what we do in the half court, but we've got to get the basics right. And so that's the beginning and end of our defense. We were really strong there uh, a year ago. Um, not so strong there two years ago. Uh, and the difference was obvious. And then what do you have for just reflections on Jordan McLaughlin and what he meant? Oh, man, I love it. Uh, yeah, just uh, super sub, you know. Um, really enjoyed coaching him. Uh, you know, it just seemed like he had a great sense of timing um, to go in and make plays, got all the 50-50 balls, pushed the pace. Um, you know, really improved as a shooter, great pro. Everyone loved him, so yeah, it'd be good to see him again. Chris, what would you say were your biggest takeaways? I understand you had a good practice after game one. What did you think was like the biggest takeaway that you kind of wanted to give the team in that practice? Yeah, I mean, uh, just uh, drill down on the basics. You know, I can never do too much of that. Uh, training camp, you know, kind of seemed like it went fast this year. Uh, you know, so we, we kind of needed to just keep drilling down the basics. So. You know, work on some things that you know, we've not been good at so far early in the season that we know we're going to see coming up here. So, um, and just you know, put the put the work in. And then for tonight's game, just the expectation for your team to come out—is it just like that? Just the main expectation, just that urgency and energy? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think we kind of uh, we didn't bring it the way we needed to bring it the other night, which was you know surprising for all of us. So I would I expect a much better. Um, you know, output tonight. Last season, defensively, you had a lot of continuity on the roster, a lot of muscle memory with kind of how you played the year prior yeah. with a lot of the roster. This year, you're incorporating two new guys into the way you want to play defense, and yeah. you throw Joe in there and have three. Is there, is there, when you talk about simplifying the defense, does that maybe come with the territory of having new players that are learning how you like to play at that end of the floor? Yeah, there's definitely some of that, for sure. Um, there's all you know. There's also just figuring out what those guys do best as well. You know, defense isn't just about what we want them to do. It's about what they can do best. So they go out there and execute, um, be the be the best version of themselves. So um, that's like a learned process as we're going through all the situations that we're that, that we're going to come across early in the season. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely. Coach, uh, hey, what's up? First of all, how's the leg? Oh, it's good. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's good. And, and second of all, when you get a guy like Julius, as late as you did, yeah. um, what's the key to incorporating him on and off the court? Yeah, I think, uh, well, first of all, I mean, he's fit in really, really well uh, off the floor. You know, he's happy, super happy to be here. It's, you know, guys have really embraced him. Um, on the floor, uh, he's really been a primary distributor for us. Um, I think almost too much that time like he's like defaulting too much like we told told him the last few days like you gotta be more aggressive you know you gotta look to do your thing a little bit more um, we love the fact that you're trying to really fit in and, and as a result just kind of you know, create a lot of offense for your teammates but I also trust that he's gonna make the right play and he needs to continue to impose himself on on um, on the game be a little bit more aggressive that's the best way to do it like just kind of go out there you know be yourself you know, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, but if you, you know, if you try too much to, you know, you're that talented to defer, then, you know, we're, we'll, we, you know, we need you to do what you do best. So, um, so he seems to, to understand that, you know, that message. Coach Shins, you have uh, some gifted wings out there, but uh, Terrence Shannon Jr., who you're fortunate to have, and yeah. I'm not talking about, you know, the stuff that happened when he was in college, but. How do you uh, plan on you know working with him and incorporate him, incorporating him into your system? Yeah, I mean we have a you know we're we're a deep team. We have a lot of depth, so um, and we see his opportunities come situationally. Uh, so he's been great. We love his physicality. You know we love this. Uh, you know gets out in transition, gives us another gear uh, that we don't have. Um, you know for for him like all rookies, it's a massive learning curve right now. He's seemingly picking it up pretty quickly. Um, you know, trying to figure it all out. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, like everyone else, he's got to put the work in and stay ready. And you know, they'll they'll get it up. He'll get an opportunity. It's a long season. It always happens. De DeMar DeRozan's obviously a known quantity given how long he's been in the league. But yeah. 
in terms of the unknowns for you, what are you trying to brace for and in terms of what you don't know about his fit with the Kings? Yeah, I think uh, from what I've been able you know, see from watching the film, like he's seemingly fit in really well, but it also gives them a, you know, another dimension as an on-demand scorer, should they need it. Um, they got a really good clutch offense anyway with Fox and, Debo and uh, Sabonis. Um, but you know, they can now give you a different look, makes them more multi-dimensional. Um, so yeah, just and he's actually a really good passer. You know, I think his passing is super underrated. Has been for a long time. Uh, Chris, one game into the season, but your first game with this new group. How are you seeing? Uh, how is Ants like evolution as a playmaker within the consideration of the roster, kind of piecing together in your mind? Yeah, I think you know we know we know Ants. He can do all things that he wants to, you know, at any given time. Um, you know, I think the other day he probably felt the game was kind of slipping away, so he, he tried to put everyone on their back, on his back, and probably did a little too much, you know. Um, so he just has to continue to make all the plays that are in front of him, make the right play all the time, keep trusting it. I think with Julius out there, um, he's going to get a few more catch and shoot opportunities. So you know, be be ready to kind of share share the floor in that way, and then. And, and be able to to benefit from it when Julius is drawn two or three bodies in the in the paint. So um, it's you know it's just a balance that he has to strike. But you know we need him to be aggressive. We need him to score. But with the ball in his hand that much, he's got to also create for his teammates. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, coach.